Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's talk why do I uh, actually use an Apple Watch. But personally, if you guys know me, I don't use an iPhone as my primary or even as my secondary smartphone. I did try iPhones earlier. I used it for about two months, but I gave up. Mostly, well, the other phones that I use are Android-based smartphones and whatever phone that I'm testing. And as you know, uh, mostly are Android phones that keep launching again and again. Uh, so this is very peculiar. Like you might say, how can you use a apple watch if you don't use an iphone uh, i would say technically i do have an iphone this is the iphone 10r and this is actually mostly in my car uh, because uh, one of the cars that we have uh, does not have android auto it works only with apple carplay so this is always in my car and generally uh, every week uh, i use the car or something so it automatically syncs this watch syncs with the iPhone for data and stuff. Yes, I don't get the notification, but I'm least bothered. But uh, this is the Apple Watch cellular model. In fact, this is the Series 4, not the latest uh, Series 5. I didn't offer the Series 5 because I felt uh, it didn't offer that much great value. But, uh, the only big difference is that the 5 has that always on screen. Uh, this 4 does not have. So I did not upgrade to the Apple Watch 5. And I don't know if I'll upgrade to the Apple Watch 6, it should have significantly something very different. Uh, I would say yes, if it uh, becomes compatible with Android, then I would uh, jump towards it. And let me actually talk why I use the Apple Watch. Because if you guys you know, I have used a lot of smartwatches. Uh, this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch, the latest one. Uh, this is the Honor smartwatch and a bunch of other smartwatches that I have used. So it's not like that I haven't uh, used uh, smartwatches from other vendors. But when it comes to smartwatches, I would say, Apple Watch gets the basic formula right. It does not feel like a gadget that you're using. It works seamlessly. And in fact, as this is this uh, cellular variant, uh, it does not need to be connected uh, with my iPhone. Also, then also it works. For example, the Siri voice, nav, uh, voice uh, etc. works very well. For for example, let me give you an idea. Uh, let's just ask some simple questions. For example, what's the time in New York and temperature? And I'm just going to ask it via the watch like this. What's the time in New York? In New York City, New York, the United States, it's 4.31 a.m. So as you can see, uh, even uh, though it's on the cellular data, uh, it's using that, it's really, really fast. That's what I like. The series is very responsive. It does not feel like a gadget. For example, the closest next smartwatch that I liked was the Samsung Galaxy Watch. But I would say Bixby has improved quite a bit. But again, it's not uh, at that level at which the Apple Watch is. I would say this does give me some minor UI lags at times. I would say if I have to uh, compare it with an Apple Watch, still the Galaxy smartwatch, it's somewhere in the uh, between the uh, Apple Watch 1 and 2 series, if you know that minor lags and stuff sometimes you had. So that is the reason that I use this and I like it for the fitness data and stuff. Uh, the Siri works, which is very, uh, uh, what do you say, useful for me because I do set simple things like uh, timers when I'm working and I can just say set a timer for 20 minutes okay 20 minutes and counting so for basic stuff like this it works very well uh, it started the timer as you can see so it works very well uh, like this uh, so that's the reason I use it uh, I would have loved to use the Android smartwatch but again in that terms of finesse it, most of the Android watches feel like you're using a tech gadget and it's not very seamless experience. That's the reason I use it. And uh, the advantage of this one is that it is that cellular model. Hence, it, it does not need to be technically, what do you say, be paired with an iPhone. Yes, when you set it up, you have to use an iPhone. But after that, uh, if you're not too much worried, you can just use it stand alone. Uh, so again, uh, do let me know if you're using smart watches. What do you like about smart watches? I know many people prefer that uh, instant notifications i used to also enable instant notifications but again the barrage of notifications that we get after some time you will mute out most of the stuff so why do you use a smartwatch uh, personally i would say i like uh, i have always to wear watches so i'm used to a watch that is one thing i know many people these days don't uh, use a watch so i was used to a watch that's why i like that and uh, the seamless experience that I'm having with it, the CD works very well and it does not feel like a gadget. I'm just going to stop and it's very smooth in the overall experience. That's why I chose the Apple Watch, though I actually don't use an iPhone. I use Android phones as my primary phone 
and again if you guys really want why i prefer android phones over iphone i can make a video about it uh, i don't don't get me wrong the iphone experience when i used it uh, with my primary for about two months was not bad but again it was not that seamless because i require some apps that simply work better on an Android phone and that Android phone gives me the flexibility of uh, using those apps which iOS restricts. Anyways guys, uh, what do you think about smartwatches in general? Do you think uh, they are unnecessarily or if you have ever used a smartwatch, what is your experience? Would love to know your thoughts. Anyways guys, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and if you guys are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video and guys take care.